Hey, this is Andrew Brown and welcome to the marketing site on Microsoft for the AZ305. And you'll notice the name of this is actually called Designing Microsoft Azure Infrastructure Solutions. And it gets you that badge, the uh, solutions expert. But the uh, strange thing is that Microsoft does not name the badge the same thing as the exam. Uh, it's not that strange if you understand the history of their certifications. They like to sometimes have more than one exam that you have to pass in order to get a badge. And so they don't name them the same as the badge. So that's just what's there. And the old exam used to have two, the 304 and the 303. But we'll go down here below because the reason I'm on this page is I want to show you the sandbox. If you go here to the sandbox and we'll open this up, we can see the formatting of the questions. Now, it's not example questions. Um, we have example ones on our platform and we have we should have a free set. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click next. And this is just like if you were to take it online or at a test center and we'll click through and we'll go here and there's just 10 questions. And the purpose of the sandbox is to show you the formatting of the questions. I'm gonna get out of the way. There we go. And so the first one we have is a multiple choice, pretty straightforward. It says, what is your favorite sound? We'll say a bell, we'll click next. This one is multiple choice, so here we can check box two things. We'll do that. The next one here is drag and drop. So you have these things, you drag, and then you drop them into the area on the right here. Notice that um, I can actually fill in multiple, so uh, you know just, it can vary based on the type of question. So it might not just be one to one. These things might still remain in here. Then we have um, build order, build list reorder. So which five tasks should you do in the correct order? So you say making a sandwich, we'll add the pickles, the mayo, the ketchup, this, that, this, uh, whoops, <laughs> this and that. Okay, and then you can move them around. Notice that this actually has more than five questions. These are draggable here. You'll notice these everywhere. We'll go ahead and hit next. Um, this question is an active screen. So which option should you achieve, uh, choose to achieve this goal? So we'll scroll on down here. Um, to answer, select the appropriate setting in the applications example properties window in the answer area. So notice here, if we hover over, it might be hard to see, but there is a blue line. So it's showing like, where do you click, right? So here, that's the only one. We drop it down, then we choose an option here. So it's kind of like simulating um, a components without actually having the environment. We'll go to the next one here. So this one is an active screen. So you need to implement self-serving provisions of virtual machines. This actually kind of sounds like a proper question. The solution must ensure that the user can start the virtual machines, etc. What do you choose? So we'll go here and we'll choose option one and then option two. Notice that these are relaying to this table here, but this is just, you know, another way that we could be working with stuff. Here we have a hot area. So here it says, which services should you configure? So we'll go take a look here and notice that we can select something from the hot area. So it's very similar to that other one, um, active screen. Again, you're just like clicking on stuff. We'll go to the next one here. And so this is a case study. So uh, case studies are uh, pretty complex. The idea is you can click around here and read all of this stuff. Okay, so you read through all of this stuff. And then what you're gonna do is go back to your question at the top. I know it's confusing, but that's where it is. And then you can go ahead and answer uh, the question. We'll go back and hit, hit next. Then you have exhibits. So exhibits are basically just tabs. The idea is that you read the question and then you can go look at an exhibit. There can also be multiple exhibits. So I think in this one, here's an example where you have multiples and then you go back to your question and then you answer it, okay? So, you know, hopefully that uh, makes things really clear. Um, but you can see that they really do have a, a lot of different formatted questions and uh, that can make this uh, quite challenging. If we wanna read about the specifics of the exam, we can go to the uh, study guide. Now, I remember there being, at least in previous exams um, or um, in other exams, you used to have a PDF you can download. I can't seem to find that anymore. All there is is the marketing site here. Maybe that's what they want to do but you can go through here and read about like the certification renewals, the scoring, all the stuff here. We we're mentioning about certification renewals. So if you wanna read a bit more about that, uh, where they talk about how renewals are free and you have a six month renewal window and things like that, you can read all about it. Um, but yeah, there you go. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.